Well, I tried to keep it poor. Now that was hard after the seventh or eighth show because everybody wanted to look their best. And as a matter of fact, for the women, it was a challenge to say, what can we do that looks stylish and, and fashionable today on very little money? And I shopped at a, a store then called Orbox. And my assistants would come with me, as a matter of fact, and sometimes we'd shop for six shows in one foray. And each assistant would be on that show. But Good Times was the best because everything had to be within uh, uh, an economic range. You, you wanted it to look real and washed down and lived in. But the most outrageous clothes I've ever done, I guess, were for JJ because he was a walking sight gag. Um, the other night I ran across a whole clear plastic jumpsuit I don't know what we made that for, but he was so funny in it. I loved that angular frame. It, 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 it was made for sight gags. And I don't know how we came by that funny JJ hat, but it worked for him. The floppy hat that he wore. Yes, had yes, mm -hmm. yeah. And that, was that also another one of the kind, one of its kind? Or did you have new ones? Uh, I could buy them, and I, I, I may have a lot of them still somewhere mm -hmm. because those ended up going to auctions for charity and uh, um, you know they would show up in in different places for charity uh, gifts 